Hello everyone and welcome to this next video update on the Dodecatron generator. If you would like access to the .stl files that I have created for this single phase generator, be sure to send me a friend request on friendbeacon.com and let's begin. Also be sure to hit that like button and that subscribe button if you want me to continue with these generator giveaways. I believe this design would be useful for anybody that is interested in learning about electrical engineering. Right, so this design is consisting of a 2.7 volt 500 farad capacitor and a 3 volt DC motor that can go up to an RPM of I believe 1 to 300 RPMs. This allows for a frequency to be produced within the generator of roughly 250 Hertz so you'll be hitting roughly 120 volts using this current coil array that I have here. Things I'm going to be considering on the next generator design are going to be one, the winding pitch. The winding pitch is the distance between the sides of the coil. This is crucial for minimizing harmonics in the magnetic field. And for two, I want to make sure that I have enough turns of copper wire per coil. And I also need to make sure that I keep the number of layers on each coil even on every row so that way there is no distortion or har what harmonic distortion happening in the generator. The difference between supercapacitors and batteries is that supercapacitors can be charged thousands upon if not hundreds of thousands of charge cycles. If you go beyond the voltage limit then the capacitor will go junk if not explode so be careful whenever you are using capacitors and voltage make sure that voltage is regulated. I also believe I might have ruined this capacitor in one of my previous experiments, so I'm not sure if it's holding the capacitance properly, but it is able to store volts. I'm just wondering about the capacitance. And just to give you a little incentive to try to build this generator for yourself, I'm going to power this light bulb using this three volt to 120 volt generator system that I have built here. And I just want to show you how useful it could potentially be and what else it might be capable of if you hook up even greater powered ratio DC motors. So I'm going to hook up one lead to the light bulb that I have here. This is a four and a half watt LED light bulb. So it takes 120 volts and roughly uh, three to four watts to get it going. I will keep the other alligator clip connected to one end of my single phase coil array right here. I believe this is the beginning of the coil array. Next thing I'm going to do is give this thing a little startup using a 9 watt 12 volt DC adapter. I don't recommend trying to charge the capacitor with 12 volts. I'm just doing it to show you a quick little demonstration. So get ready. So I'm going to hook up the negative terminal. And then... I will hook up a positive terminal after I decide to get the motor going. So I'm going to take this other red alligator clip and connect it to one end of my DC motor. And then I will also get another clip to do the same with the negative terminal as well. All right, now I'm going to hook up the negative terminal and then I will show you how it lights up the light bulb. All right, the capacitor is completely dead right now. So I'm going to give it a little startup charge using the... 12 volt 9 watt input. As you can tell, it takes a minute because uh, the supercapacitor is actually pulling a lot of watts right now in order to get that voltage to build up. 250 hertz right now, this is what it does. So that's 9 watts at 250 hertz. Now I disconnect the 12 volts. As you can tell, it's going to need a little bit more charging time. But when you have this capacitor at a full charge, the light bulb will actually stay lit up for a good five minutes before it starts to dim down, which I find really interesting to watch. And when you let the flywheel 
build up in frequency and the capacitor charge you get that as the result all right so i let the flywheel really build up on frequency let's see what it does Ooh. it's even brighter than before <laughs> now I believe this will go great with the Archimedes turbine design Be sure to hit that like button and share this video if you like what you watched today. Your support means everything in the growth of these new discoveries that I am making with every generator design that I am creating. So thank you for watching. Peace.